Subi. I think we're good here. Good morning, folks. It is Minnesota rifle opener. <clears throat> it's pretty early. It's like 5.30 right now. Me and my dad are taking the good old uh, Subi up to our spot. Time to go. So I'm back home in Grand Marais, Minnesota. Me and my dad have been hunting this spot for the last like eight years. Got her? Headlamp or what? Headlamp, glasses, and Alright, so we make it there. Let's go hunt. She's a little frosty. Alright, good luck. Yeah, see you later. Let's I see. 10 ish, 10 11.
done. I drilled them. Yes. I was just telling my buddy Nick last night. Shout out to Nick because he just just messaged me and said, we'll see who sticks on first. Yes. I think it's a little eight pointer. You look decent. I'm sorry you guys can't really see it. I don't have a camera that'll zoom. This is actually half a GoPro, but I keep walking out right behind that. My first shot was right between, right in that opening. First shot, he went running, came back. I had him the whole through the trees. And I just wanted to get one more shot in. I probably shouldn't have shot that second time, but yeah, he's, he's done. Oh, that happened so fast, man. That's what I wanted to happen. Opening morning. The only shot I had, that second shot, though, was kind of right at his back, so I hope I didn't mess up a ton of uh, meat. Let's see what time it is right now. Ooh. 9.26. I'm gonna stay up here for a couple minutes, and then uh, I'll get down, go find him, throw a tag on him. Yes. So happy, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at this. I hope your scope falls off when you shoot. Well, I didn't, Nick. I got one. Blood right here. Blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. More hair. Yeah. Blood. This is all blood. Going over this tree. Blood here, blood here. Oh. Oh. I see him. Look at that. There he is. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's go. Check this out, we got Brad, Brad. He's stumbling and stuff. He's not big, but he'll do, look at that. Woo! Yes. That's right. Thanks, buddy. Look at that. He's nothing special, but that is a North Shore buck right there. That's awesome, man. I'm gonna stick my tag on him. And then I'm gonna go take my all my main stuff back to Subaru and find my dad. Because he should be getting back there any any minute now. Yeah, and then it's time to get this thing out of the woods. Little tag. This piece off, this is mine. Remember. There we go, done deal. The only reason I'm leaving um, my neck gator there is because it uh, keeps the birds off. <laughs> what? Are we putting them on top of this thing? Well, yeah. This is what we did a couple years ago with my other buck. <laughs> there he is. Oh, dude. Look at that, dude. Oh, yeah. That's 
That's a nice f***ing shark bite, dude. Look at it. You got straps? Uh, I think so. I got, I got one little tiny thing of rope. I think I got a couple straps, and I got some rope. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Subaru, <laughs> import nation. I gotta find that picture now. The deer, the deer hauler. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this thing's hauled two of my deer out of the woods, I guess. No. Now I can go to Wisconsin! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So, this guy drove in here, too. <laughs> Pops put a trail cam up. Just start gutting this guy. So after looking at him, I hit him just a little far back. Just here, you're still in the boiler room. But I uh, hit him here, and the exit is uh, a little more forward, right there behind his shoulder. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get him out of the woods. Can't wait to get this thing on the top of the Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kind of suck. Very buzz, right? Yep. You guys ready for this? You bet. This looks familiar to me. Do you have little pieces of rope? I got a, I got a piece I could cut. Oh yeah, I do. Yep. Sweet deal. I got to save the heart too. It's in my uh, um, cleaning gloves. So. Recent spring. back home now I'm actually home I'm on Gunflint Lake I was I didn't know this was gonna happen but shortly after I got back with my deer with to my dad's house I got a call from my brother saying that he really needed help at home with one of our cabins roofing the thing because tonight it's supposed to rain and we're supposed to get wet ice and water on it anyways that's basically what happened is I had to I had to come home so all in all it's been an awesome day it's a little cold up here Maybe I'll go hunting tomorrow, maybe I don't. But my guess is this could be the end of the video. So if you guys liked this video, please go smash the like button and subscribe for me. I got some plans for the next couple weekends, so stay tuned for those. Otherwise, uh, yeah, this is Jarrett with Northern Tactics. We'll see you. Bye.